A Java server page is also known as a JSP. As you know, your web browser accepts a text file with HTML tags and it uses the information in those tags to format and display a page. Well, a Java server page is a web page of HTML tags, but it has Java code embedded inside it in a special tag format. You can put just about any Java code you would like inside a JSP page. Now, a web browser can't display the page in that form. The Java code has to be compiled and run first, and all that happens on the server. There are some options about how it's done, and we'll be looking into some of those as we go. Here's the basic idea. A request for a page comes in from the web browser. The page requested is one that's to be produced from a JSP, so the JSP is run through the compile and run process. Each area of Java in the page is compiled and run. It's done like it's all one big class. That is, you can have things declared in one section, initialized in another, and used in yet another. The code runs and produces HTML code that replaces itself in the original page. So now we have a pure HTML file that can be displayed by a web browser. This is the page that's returned to the requesting browser. Now it's possible to have the JSP precompiled and run the same class every time there's a request. Different pages could be produced by having the Java code read information from a database and include that information in the text of the web page. But an even greater flexibility is available. It could be that the requester of the page includes parameters that causes different code to be produced. Different code would run differently depending on the request. There's no end to the flexibility. And the good news is that all the hard work has already been done. All you have to do is write the HTML page and stick the Java code inside it. There are two ways to look at a JSP page. You can think of it as an HTML page with executable Java code embedded in it which it is, or you can think of it as a Java CGI program that produces HTML, but the code that stays the same every time for every page is written statically and surrounds the Java code, which it is. And the Java is complete. You can use any of the classes in the Java library, and you can write classes of your own and use those. You can read data from a database using SQL. You can read stuff from other Internet sites. Anything you can do in a regular Java program, you can do inside a Java server page. On top of that, there are some special method calls you can make, like uh, getParameter, which returns the parameter information that was sent from the web browser and included as part of the URL. Okay, what actually happens is that the entire JSP is translated into a single class file, a servlet, and it's the servlet that runs and produces the final web page. I'll tell you about servlets in the next lesson.